Hello, it's Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts and today I'm continuing on my series again about uh, black thorn and Irish stick fighting. And um, one subscriber there was asking me about, about Mayo and other parts of the country because he was saying I was talking about Limerick and, and Tipperary uh, a lot. And uh, again, that's kind of where it kind of started and it was the most r uh, earlier, earliest records I can find are kind of in more in the south and southwest side of things. But I can assure you that it did spread throughout Ireland. There's there's many accounts in many counties that it spread um, the the faction fighting throughout, and it's a bit different in, in certain areas. But like let's just to, just to go to Mayo there because one subscriber asked me specifically. Um, in North May Mayo, um, you had these factions called the Gram uh, was it Gramastines uh, who fought against the Gallinux, uh, and they were in the barony of what was called Gallen. Um, that was one, and then in Westport. Um, in Mayo, the, the Kilmina men fought against the uh, Ahovana men, and there were also factions recorded in uh, Crown Hill as well as Blacken and uh, Liscarney as well. Um, then, kind of moving over into to kind of Cavan, um, the, the places there they used to fight were in uh, Belt Herbert and in County Laos, just north of Dublin, they fought in a place called Dunleer. Okay, so there are the kind of, you know, the, there's there's a number of other factions in, in different areas. But here's kind of an interesting thing, like Danaher in his book um, was saying that the factions, the uh, the, the Shaskans and the Black Feet, which were called, proved their valour in the Midlands and so on, and in every country in Ireland. But up in the West, in Roscommon, Mayo and Galway, the local landlords, which were the Martins, the Frenches and the Tafts, they would march their tenants against each other and wage these big faction fights and they would bet on them they'd have big w wagers on the results. So that's I found that quite interesting. Like imagine, look, your faction fighting going on at fair days, loads of Irish lads. Then you want to see some landlords who kind of say, oh, maybe there's, there's you know, a bit of, bit of early UFC going on here. Let's, let's, let's start wagering on these fights. And, uh, you know, I, I found that quite, quite interesting that actually... The landlords at the time actually wanted to get in on the action. So that kind of, you know, gave, gives me the impression that it was quite socially acceptable at the time. And, um, you know, they, they seen it as it had some credibility in Ireland that it was seen as like a kind of sport. And if they're they're wagering on it, it does suggest there was some kind of order, premeditation planned. You had different groups. And again, if people were wagering on events, I can assure you they were all trying to get an advantage over each other. Like if you're if you're a tenant or sorry, if you're a landlord and you have your tenants there, you obviously want them to win because you're betting on your tenants. So you're going to be training them. You're going to make sure that, you know, here, you're a good fighter. Come over here. And, uh, you know, like just just like any kind of uh, promoter, they're they're looking for their prize fighters to, to, to really bring proud to their area. But I, I think it was just about the money for the landlords. You know, they're, the landlords just wanted to make money and they just wanted to, to take money from their their fellow landlords in, in this kind of betting thing. So I thought, like, I, I you don't see too much about that side of things mentioned in the faction fighters. You hear always about the black thorns, the fights, and, you know, the very legendary fights in Kerry and, you know, Tipperary were the, the kind of most renowned faction fighting was going on. But every now and again, you come across these kind of nuggets of information that kind of make you think. And again, I just thought it was interesting about how, Okay, there's landlords, they're doing wages. Okay, what would be, you know, the kind of culture around then? And it kind of opens up, like, you know, all of these kind of, like, um, brain pathways. Of, Ooh, what was going on here? What was going on there? And uh, I found that quite interesting. So every every now and again, as I kind of go through this series, if I find something that I think is a bit interesting, I kind of just, just highlight it a bit more. And I'll just keep these in little kind of short snippets as well. Like, you know, you, the last thing you want to do is listen to me for two hours waffling on. So today I was just kind of just giving a, a quick overview a few of the counties and also the uh, introducing there the aspect that uh, landlords used to uh, you know organize it and around their tenants and betting as well and uh, yeah we'll we'll leave it at at that for today okay thank you